alaikum everyone. How are you all? I hope you are doing fine and I hope you are enjoying at your home and studying as well. So today I am here for the subject maths for the nursery class and the week is 7 and 8. So what we have today? We have today a very interesting topic. We are going to recognize number from 21 till 30. From 21 till 30. You have learned earlier the numbers from 1 till 20. So today we are going to discuss about a new number. A very interesting number which you haven't learned earlier. That is 21. That is 21. So let's see how we can do this thing. We have over here number 21. 2 and 1 will make number 21. What it is? 21. 21. After 21, we have over here is 20. Twenty-seven. 
it's 28 and it's 29 after 29 we have over here 30 so here what is 2 will change to 3 and 9 will move forward and it will become 0 as we have seen in 1 like 10, 20, so it's 0, 0, 0, it will remain same, 1, 2 and then 3. So we have over here 21, 21, 21, then we have over here 22, 22, 22, we have over here 23, 23, 23, 24, 24, 24, then we have over here 25, 25, 25, 26, 26, 26, 27, 27, 27, then we have over here 28, 28, 29, 29, and here we have over here is 30. I am going to tell you a one key which is very interesting. For example, Here is 11 and here is what? 1. 1, 11, 21, 10, 20, 30, 5, 15, 25. So today we are going to do a reinforcement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. You have learned in this thing. Then you are going to write 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How many fingers you have in your hands? You have 10 fingers, right? As I am having. But if 10, more 10 and more 10 will make 30. And look at in my hands, how many pencils I am holding. I am holding 30 pencils. How many? 30. So let's see how we are going to count it. One. 2, 3, 4, so it's 4 and it's 5, so I have 5 in my hand. Then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so how many sticks? 10, after that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 10, 10, so it will make how many? 20. So 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29 and 30. So it's all together are 30. As you know, we, if we have a 3 sets, 3 sets of 10, then we, it will make 30. So from 
this till 1 till 30 you are going to learn all the numbers you are going to practice at your books and you are going to study from your books and from your notebooks number 64 you are going from your notebooks nursery notebooks page number 64 here is 21 you are going to practice till 30 after that you are going to write the numbers from 1 till 30 after 30 write the missing numbers in each row 0 1 2 3 4 here you are going to write 5 yeah, 7 here eight, 9 here 11 so you are going to write the numbers it's a kind of activity then we have a very interesting activity on page number 73 match the same numbers 5 5 12 12 12 same you are going to match all the blues which contain the same number on page number 73 and on page number 74 count the color count and color the fuel group you are going to count all the things and you are going to color the things which have less in numbers for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this thing is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it's 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is lesser in number because 6 comes first and then we go to 7 so you are going to color this fish box and it's 6 in number on page number 76 you are again write what is missing between 1 and 3 between 19 and 21 you are going to practice this thing then again reinforcement then you are going to make a picture with the joining the dots and you are going to join all the dots like from 1, 2, 3, 4 then 5 you are moving towards your counting so you are going to count till 30 again reinforcement write the numbers in order you are going to write the numbers in order for example here it is 1, 2, so you know after 1 there comes 2 so you are going to write 1 over here 2 over here, 3 over here, 4, 5 and 6. So you are going to arrange all the numbers. And you are going to write the numbers which are missing over here. Join the objects that go together. So you are, you are seeing over here a plate and a spoon. You know we always use spoon with a plate. Here is a lock, here is a key, you know, lock and key goes together. Here is a jug and here is a glass. So, you know, you make water, you get water through jug with the help of glass. So, B over uh, here is hanger and clothes. So, you know, it both come together. Shoes and brush, they come together. Pencil and notebook, they come together. Knife and cake, they all come together. So, like this, balls and flowers, they all go together. So, you are going to match these things. What things comes with what? On other pages, you have the just reinforcement, but you don't have a dotted line or you don't have any pattern given over here because you are going to write at your own. Separate number on a separate box over here is flat shapes first we will know what the flat shapes are my dear students flat shapes are the things which are flat which are simple which don't have any edges or which don't have any width any so here if you look at this thing this thing it's a flat shape you see it's a flat shape it's a simple shape you can draw with the help of this so it's a flat shape and if you look at this thing it's a triangle so it's a flat shape it's a simple shape again you have over here is a flat shape so both three of them are flat shapes so you see it's a flat because it doesn't contain any width it doesn't contain any other stuff it's just a simple plain shape. It's a simple plain shape. It's called 
flat shape but if you don't get the idea what the other shapes are so if you look at this scale this scale if you look at this thing do you think it's a flat shape no it is not a flat shape it's not a flat shape if you look at this ball it's a round shape but it's not a flat why because you see it's a round it have curves it have different ends so it's not a flat shape this shape is a simple shape it don't contain curves so it's a simple flat shape and this contain curves it has different endings so it it's a molded form so it's not have any flat shape so if you look at this thing it is also not a flat shape it's like a cone this thing this and this is not at all a flat shape because it has certain everything has a weight but it's a very it's not a simple at all if you are going to draw this thing it's not a gonna be simple but if you look at this thing it's a very simple flat shape you can draw on your board with the help of this but you cannot draw with the help of this wall can you draw it obviously you can't draw it because it has certain edges if you look at this thing if you put it on the uh, board can you draw it obviously you can't draw it because it has edges and if you look at this thing it has different edges it has different uh, defined so it will not be drawn on the board but if you use this thing so it's a plain simple flat shape so you can draw with the help of these on your boards white board you can draw it or you can draw it with uh, the, with the help of this on your books as well so let's see how what we have in this book look at these shapes look at these shape these all are flat it's like a like a slate simple flat plain shapes how many of each shapes did you find we have over here 10 circle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or 10 and we have 10 rectangles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it's 10 so again we have 11 squares you can count this up and you have rectangle over here is 10. We have 10 squares, 10 triangles, 11 squares and 10 rectangles over here. So if you look at this book, if you look at this book, the page over here is a flat shape. It's a uh, almost, it's a rectangle in shape but it is flat the thing like this plain simple shape is called flat shape if you look at this book it's a flat shape right like this it's a flat shape. it's a plain simple uh, shape so it's a rectangle in shape and it is flat so after that what you're going to do is color the shapes to make a pattern you are going to we have over here circles then we have a square you are just going to color the square with a different and the uh, square with a different and circle with a different so that's how you want to make a different pattern again you are going to uh, color the same shape with the same color for example circle over here circle over here circle over here you are going to what you are going to my just students you are going to color with the color all the circle with the same color and all the square with the same color it will make a very beautiful chain very beautiful pattern and then you are going to draw your own shape pattern and you can draw here whatever the shapes you like all the flat shapes you are going to draw over here so we have flat shape basically some are different and some are same all the circles are same all the Squares are same but if we look at circle and square they both are different and till then you are what you are going to do you are going to practice these flat shapes on page number 21 you are going to join all the flat shapes pictures are in flat shapes notepads are in flat shape coins are in flat shapes envelopes are in flat shapes post stamp is in flat shape clock is a stamp shape a step shape and this little flag is a flattened shape 
and this is round circle is in a flattened shape so you are going to color all uh, you are going to match all the things for example you are going to match the triangle with the triangle circle with the circle and square with a post stamp and picture square triangle flag and envelope triangle and then circle coin and yellow circle is a round in shape so you are again color the square of uh, flags blue all those flags which are square you are going to color them with blue color all those are uh, flags which are rectangle you are going to color the flags red and cross out the shapes that are not circular my dear students you are going to cross all the shapes which are not in circle for example square oval oval rectangle you are going to cross them up because you are just going to remain the circle over here that's it for today and stay safe stay home practice your work at home and when you come back to school come with the great knowledge come with a lot of practice till then allah hafiz thank you so much